Do I got another bite already? I do, I do have another bite already. Probably a school of perch coming back through. Okay, I just gotta get out of the way. Alright. Rod down. Okay. Now, a fish can't tell when you've put slack in the line unless you've already been pulling on it. So when you're not pulling on the line, they don't know. If they're just biting, then they don't know when you picked up the rod. As long as you pick it up in such a way that it doesn't yank the hook around. Another good tip when you're dealing with light biting fish, I know you guys can't see this, I can barely see it, but when you're dealing with light biting fish in a slow or stilled water environment, it's better instead of trying to feel the bite through your rod, I usually use high-vis line specifically for this, but you'll reel up until you've got just a little droop of line and when that line just kind of straightens out a little bit through no action of your own that's when you know you've got a bite. Sometimes they just pick it up and drop it and leave it alone. That goes for everything. Catfish, trout, perch, carp. If it eats it follows the rule of sometimes they just don't care enough to come back. Oh, except now I've got a bite. Yeah, this is definitely a live bait day. Or a, just a fresh bait day. There we go. Pretty sure I got some. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> and there's the culprit. Teeny little perch. He's all a four inches, maybe. So, perch. I'm going to do a quick anatomy lesson for you guys. On perch. Oh, he's got a messed up jaw. Anyway, perch. Yellow perch are the spiniest critters I know. They've got a spine on the end of this fin right here. Not this fin, but this fin. They've got spines at the very end of this fin. This fin is entirely spines, but the one that gets most people is this one right here. There's a little sharp part, a little sharp stabby bit on the end of their gill plate, and they'll flare their gills out. See, I'll turn and see if he'll get it. So they'll flare their gills out like, yeah, maybe. Anyway, they'll flare their gills out about like that, and then they'll shake their head back and forth and stab you in the wrist, or in the fingers. And it's pretty darn sharp, and it stings like nothing else. Get out of there, buddy. Alright. Nice bit of little, nice little bit of cut bait here, and then we're gonna... Did you guys see that? <laughs> This isn't a wide-angle camera, so I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but that was a big old carp sticking his whole head out of the water and doing his thing. Here, I'm going to hold this really quick, because every time I put fresh bait down there, it gets a bite right off the bat. There we go. Talking about a kind of fish that hangs out and looks for food around the bottom of the water around the bottom of the lake or the river or whatever. Perch are very bottom oriented. They will often never come up above maybe three feet off the bottom unless you're enticing them with something. I can get them to come up quite a ways in the winter when they're active. Perch are significantly more active, I've found, in winter than most other fish species save maybe walleye or crappie. And that's just because that's where their preferred food sources are. Little crayfish, worms, insect larvae and things, all that stuff lives down there on the bottom. Perch don't have great eyesight, but they also rely on pretty much only their eyesight and maybe their sense of smell. At a certain time of day, they stop biting. Once it gets too dark and they can't see anything anymore, they'll just
clam up and go dormant. And so for them, being around the bottom really helps because that usually puts them right near some kind of cover that they can hide in from more nocturnal predators like walleye or crappie or bass. There we go. Got another one. Ooh, that's a decent one. Or feels decent. Maybe not so big after all. Ah, he's alright. Not eater size by any means, but... Oh! He took it clear down in there. That's a good fish. Hope it's another trout. That'd be pretty cool. It feels... I don't know. It's coming in real easy. Not a carp. Hey ho! Look at that! Look at that! That is a chunky little perch, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on. It's right in the corner of the mouth like it's supposed to be, but it's... Right in there. Come on. Okay. Let me get a pair of pliers really quick. There we go. Look at that. We got a little bump board here. Let's throw it on the ground and walk away. Alright, he is almost nine. Eight and three quarters. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's get that back out there. He hit it like that trout did. She, probably. The bigger perch in here are all going to be female. That's just the way perch are. There we go. Awesome. 